Oh, I don't have to type. She can hear me. <laughs> I was writing. I was typing in, hi, Lala. Then I realized, oh, no, I don't have to type it. I can speak. I can speak to her. Haven't been live in a while, so this is fun. This will be fun, Lala Gamalori way. There's a lot of lives going on tonight. I was just over at Emily's auction. I had to leave, though, because I come here. Hi, Gail. Hi, Gail. Hi, Gail. And so I was tying bows while I was watching Emily because I'm putting um, bows in my journal packs. So, hi, Tony Brothers. Thank you for coming in. Bootsy, hi. Bootsy slid right over from Emily. <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming over. Don't ignore Emily, though. Go keep checking back on her. Make sure she's okay. I purchased a couple things from her, so... So I have to kind of watch my pocketbook anyway. Hi, Janet. Good to see you here. Hi, Janie Trucker. Hi, Lise. How are you, Lise? Lise, I think Lise is going to be bouncing back and forth, too, with between here and M. Because she was over to M's as well. Yep. Hi, Kathy Lake. Good to see you guys, all of you beautiful faces. Yes, I can see him too because I got like x-ray vision, like Superman. So, yep, I was tying these little bows while I was watching Emily. So I always have to have something to do while I'm watching somebody. I can't really just watch and do nothing so hi deborah good to see you all okay now i'm not seeing um lala do you have a wrench i can't see on Streamyard if you do or not you're supposed to have a wrench now I sent a wrench over to your toolbox. I guess I could look it up on my phone. I need to. Hi. Oh, Hedge Witch. Hedge Witch Hollow. That's my sweet friend over there across the pond. Me and her both have unicorns. Some people don't believe. We believe. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go here. Oh, wait a minute. That's not what I want to do. Oh, she does have a wrench. Okay, good. Um, I'm going to see if I can find this on my, um, on my, um, yeah, this thing, whatever you call this electronic device right here. Let me see. It's the electronic device. What is that doing that for? No, go away. Don't go away, man. Just go away. Why is that doing that? Why? What is that? Select home. Easy home. Just home. Just once. Always. Why do they put stuff up here that makes me more confused? <laughs> yes, Nikki. Thank you. Nikki, thank you for putting your name there. Because just for one slight moment, after I read Redhead Hedgewitch Hollow, then I thought that was your given name. Hi, Susan McDonald. But for you, for all of you wonderful people that have seen me read out of this here book, which I read out of it all the time, that was sent to me by my hedge witch hollow. Nikki. Yes. Okay, now wait a minute. I'm going to... Why does my phone look all different? Now, why is all that going on? Why does things look different? Why do they change things around just to make me crazy? 
Okay, they do it on purpose. Okay, here now. Let me see. I'm going to see if I can get the chat on here. Power wash your insides in 60 seconds. Okay, that's interesting. Power wash your insides. Okay. Oh, I got the live chat now. Power wash your insides in 60 seconds. Oh, I got to turn that's this sound off. Power wash your insides. Okay, turn that sound off. Okay. And, and. She just said, I am awful with names also. And do you know what? That quickly. Nikki. Yeah, that's it. Nikki. Hi, Clint. There's Clint. He's my buddy. Clint's my buddy. We're telephone buddies. I don't get many people to talk to, but oh, Clint, he'll call me. He's always calling me, check on me. Me and Papa. We've adopted him. Okay. Look at there. Yes, I think so too, but that was the advertisement that was just on that telephone thing. <laughs> there is this funniest stuff that, hi, Cheryl and Colette. There's the funniest stuff that they advertise on these telephones. I'm telling you, people must pay big money, but yeah, I don't want to power wash my insides. Jeez. No. Okay, I think I'm done tying these bows now for a while. I got a bunch tied up. I've tied some red ones, tied some blue ones. I love this bow it all thing. Man, you can. Um, well, I'm going to do other stuff, not just tying bows. I was just doing this while I was watching Emily. But now I'm done. I'm going to put this aside. And I can do, like, I'll do stuff like this whenever I'm usually watching somebody else. So I'm going to put that aside out of my way. Look at all these bows I got. I got all these bows right here. I did all them bows and they pretty now just a minute i got to find a little sack to put them in okay i am excited to be live again i have been hi janice kathy d it's so good to see all of you i am um i keep finding new things to add to put in to my um my junk journal kits I'm calling them my happy every junk, happy everything junk journal kits. And so far I've had good reviews. There we go. So see, now I may throw that whole thing in one of the junk journal kits right there. So that will be cool. But um, let's see. And um, let's see. Oh, look at this. Now this here. Victoria, Mc hi, Victoria. <laughs> yes, it is good to see you. It is good to see you, Victoria. You are awesome, and I love my ice cream maker. I make me ice cream. I make, I make me frozen yogurt. Yep. Oh, good to see all of you. Good, good, good. Because it's been a while, but... I'm going to try and do, for a while, I'm going to try and do Saturday evenings, just once a week. So if I do Saturday evenings at 7.30 Eastern time, I think that'll work out okay for me. The hubster come in to sit with me and um, so that I don't have to be in here all by myself. And so he's sitting over there and he's... He's got his headphones on, so he's reading something over there. <laughs> oh, goodness. Pamela K. Taylor, good to see you. Good to see you. Yes. Okay, what I'm going to be doing on my um, live streams, I'm going to try this. I don't know how this will work. And so, so this will be my... Um, my first time trying this thing that I'm going to try. But I have been, I have been um, planning an auction for a few months. But I can never get my auction off the ground. And so probably one of the main, re oh, there's my other ribbon. I was wondering where I put that. Main reason is because the, the work after the auction is always like 
it's hard to get everything sent out at an awesome, you know, at a good time. Hi, Janice. And um, so I, when I do a live stream now, I'm going to have one auction item that I will show toward the beginning and um, one auction item. And I will auction. Yes, Kathy. Auctions are a lot of work. And boy, I give anybody that does these on a regular basis all the credit because, I mean, that, that it is a lot of work to get them done and get them done, you know, quickly. And so let's see, I have 26 people in here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show right now what my auction item is for today. The way I'm going to do this. This is my plan. Um, Lala Gamma Lori, wait, let's see. If we have Lala and Gail are both in here. And um, if you two can kind of keep track, because I don't want to put a set time. I'm thinking that if I just show at the beginning what my auction item is, and then throughout the um vid, the live stream which my live stream will be like an hour and a half at the most an hour to an hour and a half i can't sit any longer than that i got ants in my pants but anyway i'm so i'm going to show you what i have this time and then toward the end of the auction i mean toward the end of the live stream is when we'll see who has the winning bid if anybody. Hi, Karen. It is good to see you too. And so I'm going to show you now. Now I have got some things that I have started and never finished. Here, let me see if I can get you to where you can see a little bit more on this. You get the controller and... Let me go here and, no, I don't want to go closer. I want to go farther away. Okay, now, let's see. I think that has it. Okay, now I'm going to, this, this here. I started making this Mother Goose album. And it is, it is. Eight and a half by eight and a half, eight and a half by eight and a half, and it has got, and it's a two and a half, two and three quarter inch binding. The um, the it's put together with. Now I can't remember what this is called. This kind of a, this kind of a uh, thing. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Hi, Trina. And um, so each page, like here is a, in the front, there's a little pocket that that little card fits in. All of the paper in here is, all the paper in here is um, from the Mother Goose Collection um, Graphic 45. So I have all the pages are started, but they need some TLC for real. Let me even go a little bit further back up here so you can, okay, that's as far as it'll go. Okay, now, all the pages are done with um, the collection from whatever I just said, Graphic 45 Mother Goose. So, like here, the front page has got a corner pocket in it and it's got a tag there. This is a like a half page or a little bit more than half page. And each one has got a pocket. Each page is also a pocket. So this, I had put this in here. I had planned, what I had planned to do is make like a thumb pull here and then cut this down so it fits and decorate it. That was my plan, but it never came to fruitation. And then see, here's another page. That's see how, how they're a little bit overlapping there. And they're all the Mother Goose papers. 
This one here is got a pocket plus a um a pocket plus a uh thing, that thing, whatever we call that thing, a belly band. So because the pocket is a little short, then when you put a when you put a, like a tag or something in, then it'll go through the belly band and into the pocket like that. Okay. And each page has got a pocket. Each one is a pocket. So you can add like a flip out in here or anything can go. Here is like an upside down waterfall. There's a magnet that holds that closed. And then this is a waterfall right there. Water, well, it's not falling. It's going upwards. Backwards waterfall. This one here, too, is a pocket. And the page is a pocket. And here again, pocket with cards in there. Of course, you can change them around. And again, another two of the half pages, or they're a little bit more than half pages. And each of them has a pocket each page has got pocket um it's got a pocket and then it's got all of these here and here again is another pocket as you see i got pretty much done and this was a fun page here this unties and then it opens up this way and then this way then this way, and then this way. So the whole page, there's a lot of room to put photographs or whatever you want to put in here. Okay, so then see how it just all folds back together and then ties with the ribbon into a little bow, it's just a little piece of pretty sheer ribbon. And then inside the back cover, is another pocket and I used the front of the paper pad to make this pocket and then inside of there is I made just a little journal okay so that goes in there and so that I hadn't decorated the back yet it needs to be decorated okay so along with this you will get um wait a minute let me see what I let me see. Along with that, to, so you can continue, is some 8x8 eight eight sheets. These all come from the Graphic 45 collection. And so there's some. These are all 6x6, six six, double-sided, and they all go with the same Mother Goose collection. And then these ones are 8x8. Eight this is the same as the one that's on the front of the book. And then these are all eight by eight. So there's Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty. I love this paper, but I just put it away and it's been sitting for so long. And then I didn't, you know, I didn't work on it anymore, but hold on. There's more. There's more. I'm going to start this off at a starting bid of $20, which does not include the shipping, but you'll see what all is going to be in there. In this little package is a lot of strips. Um, these are a lot of strips, like um, borders that you can put on pages. These are like little stamps. So there's little stamps and there's a lot of them. Look at that, it says Mary had a little lamb. These are just borders. These ones are like stamps as well. They're bigger stamps. And, um, and it, there, I mean, you will have enough here to do this journal. And that one says Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. A lot of these little stamps. Okay, so those are all borders or or stamps that you can use oh and there's more in there i didn't even pull them all out of the package so there's a lot of those but that's not it just a minute hold your horses just a minute like i say it the bidding will start at 20 dollars, and um which does not include the shipping okay and we're still here looking we're still here looking okay here now 
let me see what we got here. Here is, these are all, um, these were punch outs. Now, so these are like, there's so many different ones. That says bedtime story. There's like little flags. That one says good night. There's just a whole bunch of different little things here. Like if you're going to put anything on a, um, on a, on a tag or something, there's plenty here to decorate your tags. Okay. So those are in there. And there's a key. The key to my heart. Now, and then here in this package, these are the, um, like, chipboard tags. They're the chipboard tags. So they're heavy. Okay? And, um, and there's quite a few different ones. Again, all from the same collection of Graphic 45 and... There's a lot in here. And if you all know the prices of Graphic 45, yeah, you know there you go. Okay, and in here, these are some more, like, I think these are like an ATC size here. That they're already, all these cards are in there. And they all have to do with Mother Goose. Look how cute. Look how adorable. These are adorable. Okay, and I've just gotten so into junk journals. And these ones are the same, but smaller. Okay, let me put them back in this little baggie. And then, this one here. This one here has, that's the same as that one. I'm going to keep a few. These ones now are bigger. And see how they're double-sided, too. There, um, there's the little boy blue, come blow your horn, the sheep's in the meadow, the cows in the corn, and see on the back. Humpty Dumpty. Look how pretty they are. They're just beautiful. There's a postcard, bedtime story. Look, they're just beautiful. Okay, now, let's see. These go in with these. Let's see. Let me get these all together. Get them together. Okay, now, and then these, these are more six by sixes, more six by sixes. You can make tags out of these. You can make flip outs with these. You can make a lot of things. I'll put them in with these. I don't know exactly how many are in there. I didn't count anything. Okay, so. Let's see. So that's the eight by eight, six by sixes, three different sizes of cards. These are the um, chipboard embellishments. These are the regular embellishments, a whole bunch of loops on your tags, making your tags. And and these are all of the borders and the little stamps that you can cut apart. So let's see. Is that everything down here? Yeah, that was everything. So I'm going to leave this, the bid open as long as I'm live. And then at the end of the live is when we'll see who actually won the bid. And I'll have it mailed out, well, not tomorrow because it's Sunday, but I'll have it mailed out on Monday. But see there, look, it, just by putting all of that stuff inside there, it's already filled up full. So, um, and like I say, it's big, I have it all begin, beginded. I got it all beginned. Yeah. I'm going to add, I don't have them in here. I'm going to add with this, I don't have it in here, but I'm going to add a um, pocket prayer quilt because I put them in everything. I'm going to add a face mask and I'm going to put some tags. I'm going to put some, just a minute, which those are just freebies, the mask and the prayer quilt. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I gotta put one more to make it an even dozen. Oh heck, let's make it a baker's dozen and an extra. There are 14 of them there. So there are going to be tags here that are ready to start putting. Um, and if nobody bids on it, I understand it's fine. Oh, and let me tell you too. If you don't have money today, I okay, the way the winner will pay is through PayPal. You'll go to PayPal using my um using my um email address and you you will pay through paypal i would have to let you know how much the shipping will be and um i will have to let you know how much the shipping will be because it's different if it goes to florida it's you know it's cheaper if i um um no, you don't have to wait for anybody to say go, but Gail and Lori will keep reminding people that what's here to bid on. And so that that's what's going to be in there. And then, like I say, then I'm going to have my my gift of a prayer pocket prayer quilt and a face mask that I make. Okay. So I'm going to put this away now. And I'm going to, and and I'm going to try to have one item each week. Okay, and if you don't have the money today, you've got a week. You have a week, and if I don't have the payment by next Monday, I'll just put this thing up again next Monday. And so, um, but yes, you have a week to pay. Hi, Erin Morrison, and hello to Alyssa. I miss you guys so much. Okay, so anyhow, what I'm going to work on today is my journal that I lost. Let's see a minute. Where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? Oh, there it is. This is my, um, oh, let me, I have some kind of like a little announcements, little announcements, you know. Um, I have little announcements that are that have to do with our um, mindless quarantine challenge that is put up daily on the Scrap and Lizzie Unicorn Group, and it's also put up on Mary Kay's Artful Journey Group. The same challenges put up on both groups and people a lot of people have been having a lot of fun with the challenges which is awesome and um but there's going to be a little bit of changes in there we, we're going to go instead of doing it every day the three ladies that are main the main ones that are planning these I just feel like they're getting stressed. I feel like I'm stressing them out. But um, I love the challenges, though. I think the challenges are so awesome because we learn. We learn so much because they put up the challenge. They explain um, what, you know, the, the process in a way. They give you a list of... Um, of optional items you can use in the challenge and then we start looking then i start looking um at all the images that people post of what they took as that challenge and and it's always amazing to see what the same the same instructions and how people take it differently and so we're constantly learning and i think that is awesome and so um what the change is going to be is there's three girls that are mainly doing this and the girls are lori lala gamma lori way there is tammy wolf and there is um oh V, 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 her name, Violet, Violet. And um, 
Oh my gosh, Gail, very good. Um, and Violet, those are the three <coughs> that are mainly putting these together. But we are going to start doing it as once a week. And so they're going to be the Monday Mindless Wonders. Those three are going to be the Monday's Mindless Wonders. They're every Monday, they're going to put up a new challenge. That'll be every Monday. And so maybe they'll have it up Sunday night, Monday morning, but we'll do it. And um, yes, like Karen said, they're even fun. They're fun even if you're not doing them because other people are getting ideas too. We're sharing and sharing ideas, which is, um, which is very, very awesome. And now... Now, also, the girls are put the the Monday mindless wonders. God, I love that. They are putting up a file in the files because we um. Oh, good. Kathy said that she may be able to do a weekly. I think it's going to be easier for a lot of people. They're going to put up a place in the files that you can put suggestions as what you think would be an awesome challenge or a part of an, a challenge. And then those girls can look at all those suggestions and maybe take a part of one suggestion, a part of another suggestion, put them together and come up with a new challenge. And so, um, Oh, Bootsy says, yay, too. Oh, right. That is awesome. Hi, Junk Trunk Treasures. Good to see you here. And so, yes. Um, um, so, you'll be looking for that. Be looking. There's Jennifer Travis. Hi. She's Jennifer Travis is the um, Zentangle guru. Yeah. Okay. She's been, um, and Tina Epp, hello. Yes, Jennifer has been, well, so through Lori, you know, we've been get. I've been seeing some really awesome posts um, of places to go look. And so, so yes, um, Gilly's Art is there. I didn't say hi to you. Good to see you. And, um, and so, yes, yeah, so you, if you have a, of a, um, and uh, a suggestion of a challenge or a part of a ch challenge. And and Colette likes the weekly better too. That is good. Mindy, your package went out this morning, sweetie. It went out this morning. That sucker weighs six pounds. There's a lot of stuff in there. Yep. And so um, it went out this morning. So just a couple of days and it should be to you. Okay. So that I think is the update on our, our weekly um, our weekly mindless quarantine challenge. And since so many of us are quarantining still, some people aren't taking this serious. I am. I am serious. I'm quarantining and I am staying home and I need things. I, I need you all. You all keep me, you, you all keep me, you just keep me together. That's what you do. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is just a, a little bit of everything video here because I got a happy mail from Cheryl Johnson. It's a, I know it's happy mail because it says right here, happy mail. So I'm going to open this right now and see what's in it because I didn't open it. You know what I got? Oh, I want to tell you one other thing too. Before I open this, I want to say I have been watching Beth Schuler. I've been watching... Um, Beth Schuler, she has she goes on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday nights on her live streams. And oh my goodness, she does the very most awesome things. And so, but she's been drawing images. She's been helping us with learning to draw images. And um, she has a book that she goes from. Where did I put my book? Where did I put my book? She uses a book. How to draw animals in 10 easy steps. And 
as long as you don't lose your book, you'll be able to do it. Well, I ordered that book. I said, I got to have that book because, you know, I see something and I got to have it. And I'm a book nut. Anyway, I love books. So they sent me this book. No, they didn't send me this one. This is the, this was the right book. Oh, they first sent me a wrong book. Wait a minute. Where did I put it? Just a minute. Um, well, you think, do you think? They first sent, well, this is the right book. They sent me a book called Perspective, Learn to Draw Perspective. Well, I don't know where I put it anyway. But anyway, um, and so I sent them a message and I said, you sent me the wrong book. And um, so right away they apologized. They said, well, you can keep the wrong book as a gift from us and we'll send you out the right book, which this was the right book. This is the one she works from. So I got the wrong book. They're going to let me keep it, which it was about... And, and they apologize. So, and just I just want to tell you the name of the company was Purple Turtle PTP Flash Deals. Comes out of Massachusetts. But right away, they said, we are so sorry. And they sent me the new book. And they said, keep the old one. Keep the one that you don't want. But I do want it. It's a good book. So anyhow, yes. So... Oh, so I just wanted to sing their praises because their customer service is off the charts. Wonderful. They In the letter, they said, we like our customers to be happy. So we're sending you the correct book. And as a gift from us, you can keep the wrong one. So I was happy about that. So I got two books for the price of one. Okay, now this is my happy mail from Cheryl Johnson. Now I want to see what's in here. Ah, because I... Ooh. Because I like it. I like it. Happy Mail. Look at these little stickers. These are little like post-it notes. Like for markers on pages. Stick marker. Oh, those are so cute. I will use them. Okay, and what is in here? It's made in China. And it says something about unicorns. Ooh. Look at this. Just let me get a look at this. Let me just... Oh, maybe I should look at the card first. Oh, good gosh. I'm just like a kid. You always tell the kid, look at the card first. Okay, well, let me look at the card first. Oh, my gosh. You need this card. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. Oh, is that ever pretty? Oh, my gosh. Gosh, that is pretty. It's a it's a bee and it's sparkly and it looks like it's embossed. Oh my word. Hope you like the happy mail card made by oh the card is made by Stacy Evans. Oh how not that old Stacy Evans, I'm telling you, she is amazing. So the card was made by Stacy. That is beautiful. Well, thank you for sending it to me, Cheryl. And, oh, that is beautiful. You know what? I'll probably, that's going to go in a journal. That is going to go in a journal for sure. Maybe even this one. Because this is a happy everything journal. Okay, now I can look in here because I looked at the card first. Now, what is in here? <gasps> look. Oh, my gosh. Look. Look at these unicorn scissors. Do you know what? Somebody else sent me some unicorn scissors, but they're not the same way. They're not the same. These are different. And they, oh, how wonderful. And look, oh, how, Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl. These are beautiful. And look at this. It's got a look how beautiful. Look at the color. Look how beautiful. And then it has a leather. It has a leather pouch with a snap. I will never lose these. I will never lose these. So now I've got this pair 
to keep out in the front room where I do my little slow stitching and stuff. I've got this pair and then I got the other pair that I have in here. But these are different. These are not. And look at the screw is the eyeball. Oh, how pretty. And look at those colors. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Oh, my gosh, you are awesome. Every one of you are so awesome. I don't know what I'd do without y'all. I'd be so lonely. I'd be lonely. I'd be in despair. Okay, now, I got to get busy with my... Look at this. I done been on over a half an hour. And I ain't done flipping nothing. Okay, so, now, what I wanted to do first, this is my Happy Everything journal. Now, when... I hope I didn't miss any miss anybody. Yes, Sydney Trifle, and they are so pretty, the scissors. Um, this is when you get when you get a, a journal package from me, the happy everything junk journal package. Um, this is the kind of journal you get, not this decoration, because I've put that on there. And then I made these tags to go in here. But so I've been working on this a little bit. But you know what? Our challenge this this month for June and July for um for in our group in our Scrap and Lizzie group is to make a unicorn flower pot, and it can be any way, but it has to be three D. It can't be just a colored picture. It has to be somehow three-dimensional. And so I am using my journal front as my, maybe I'll win the prize. There is, on this, on this particular, um, on this particular challenge when we have a challenge our bi-monthly or every two months challenge this one's for hashtag hashtag june july which is a 3d flower pot any way you can figure out to do a flower pot pot, pot three-dimensional and it has to be a unicorn so I thought, well, you know what? I've got this flower pot. I've got these flowers on this tag. So I am going there. I just made my little, like a, um, the best I could. I made like a little horn, like a unicorn horn. And I could go down. Let's see. I could even go down like this way and kind of make it look like it's, twirled and twisted like at the twisty treat when you get an ice cream well something like that anyway it does kind of look twirled and twisty i might put some stickles on there and then i'm going to glue it i'm going to glue it because this is a pocket on the front which um anybody anybody um who gets lately anyway anybody who gets the the box orders the box you get this type of journal this is what you're going to have that's what comes in the package and so and it's going to have a pocket but the cover i made this morning has a pocket on the outside and one on the inside so they're ever evolving into something different but then i made these two tags with the flowers on the tags and so we put well I wonder if they're not going to fit as well with my unicorn horn there. That's okay, though. I'll see what I can. Oh, that's okay. That works good. That'll work fine like that. But I love the way that looks with these flowers. And then, see, you can take these out then when you're working on your journal so that you don't have too much um, bulk to make it hard to work. Okay, so I'm just going to work a little bit on my journal this morning. Oh, it's not morning. Well, it might be morning somewhere. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Oh, and in each, because it's a happy everything, um, lately I have in my packages, 
has got a happy everything package of paper. Happy everything papers. I wrote that right on there. And um, so, and of course it's in these bags that are like so hard to figure out how to open. And, um, oh, that's because it opens from this side. Elizabeth Marie. So these papers are fun because they are happy every, there's every, there's a New Year's, there's pumpkin pie, so that would be Thanksgiving, there's winter, there's St. Patrick's Day, there is birthday, and 4th of July, there's some flamingos, and there is some autumn or fall. There's papers. There's Halloween. Halloween. School days. Christmas. More winter. Thanksgiving. There is all those different papers in there. So, because this is a happy everything kind of a journal. So, you can take these. Now, when you go through the pages, you're going to see that they're all like different. They're just all different. Now I think I can pull you a little forward. Hi, Die Die Kirby. So, so, so good to see you. So good to see you. And I got to find that thing that makes you come closer. And there we have it. There it is. Now, come closer. Okay. Come closer. There we go. Now, that's a little bit better. Okay, see, so like you can take a piece of paper and you can do so much with the paper. You're going to have tags, you're going to have everything, but I, I'm going to work on my own because let's see, what have I done so far? See, here's this one. This is a little, oh, this is a little ATC that Lala Gamalori made. Lala Gamalori made this one. It's a, she gave that one to me for Easter. I got this in my, um, I have this in my book. This is actually something my um, daughter gave me that one of the nurses where she works, she makes these on a three day print three D printer and it says stay strong. And these things are to hold your face mask on without it having to pull on your ears. Cause the nurses, after they wear their mask for 12 hours, they're, um, yeah, they hurt. So I put one of those in there. I might have to put that in my Alone Together journal. And here again, oh, this picture came from Lala Gamalori Way too. I put that on there. And this is a page out of a recipe book. But I put that image in there and I kind of doodled around it. And then I made some fingerprint birds on there. So when you're decorating your journal, anything anything and i mean not just these journals any kind of a little art journal and just look at this is just all doodling and and i flip through too this was a card that was given to me here and um then here oh there i've got i have got two pockets that i used envelopes to make these pockets here and so then I have a little tags in those envelopes because I like a lot of fluff. So when I'm done with this, there's going to be a lot of fluff that um, is, is going to, oh, and there's a luck of the Irish, luck of the Irish card. And so happy everything. And these all come out of a, these all come out of an advertisement advertisement that to um, sell uh, magazines, junk mail, and then different papers that I have just come across in my travels. There's a message paper. There's a, a page with an envelope on it ready for a tag. And there's a doily in there. And here I put some just put some trim on the edge of that paper. And see, I didn't finish a whole page. I didn't finish a whole page um, at one time. I, I just work on it as I go. I work on it as I go. And um, I might work a little, I might put that little trim and then turn pages. And 
There's a little doodle that I made here. So I put that on there. Oh, I put, that was a little too, oh, that was the challenge of May 19. So that was a challenge. And so, and then that just paper clips right to the page. That's another idea that I learned from the challenges. And then here was one of my, my artsy thing. I, I had this little card and I said, I wonder if I could draw her. And so I tried and yeah, she looks okay. Her eyes are a little wonky, but that's okay. I don't mind wonky eyes. And so then here, then these were sent to me, my Tracy Turner, these little bottles. And um, this little note here was in a package that I got from Care. And I don't remember the paper clips, but I think those were Tracy too. I'm not sure though. And so, but these are such cute little, the wine bottles, because they've got a little bit of a belly band on the wine bottle and then the little tags that go inside. And I thought that is an awesome, awesome idea to put into your journal. Let's see what other ideas. Okay, this is just a piece I printed out. Now, here is a, I put this page in here, which is a um, envelope that had the window in it. And then you can put any kind of an image in there and have it framed. And then you can, you can um, decorate around. And like I say, just, I only went that far. But one day I might just pull this out and do some decorating around it. Received a petty cash. And here's a couple of um, playing cards that are pages. But you know, it is so, it is amazing because you can take like this playing card. Okay, say you want to do this playing card, say. You can go out with this playing card. Let's see. And you can glue I'm going to glue that playing card just put glue on the end of that playing card and then I'm going to line that piece of paper with the edge sort of there now I have made a longer this playing card actually came from Russia oh you know I should have my Russian nesting doll I need to put a pocket here so my Russian nesting doll, because that is from Russia. And so I was going to cover that, but I don't think I want to cover that. I'm going to, oh, you know what I can do? I can like go like this way. Oh, there's so many things you can do. Look at there. So now I just made a flip out here. And then there's that page there that makes that page even bigger or different, and I can add things, let's see, anything, gosh, geez, you can just start adding anything, um, oh, you know what I've got here, I have, um, I have in here some little, um, Let's see, what do I have here? Oh, look at this. I can add my lip. Yes. Oh, no, I, did. I didn't mean that. This Papa oh. thought I meant, I was, no, I have my, my little tag that I made the Russian oh. nesting doll. Thank you, though, sweetie. You're a good man, Gungadin. And so, I have various little die cuts, and I think every one of these die cuts has been sent to me by somebody else. And look there, you can make just a cluster of, of things, just things. I love my little unicorn here. This unicorn's gonna live on this page somehow because I love him. I need to look in there. Oh, and look at that butterfly. I'm gonna put a butterfly right here. And so when you just you just start looking, you just start turning pages and 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 see what see what happens. Okay, sweetie. And um 
you just start turning pages and then start adding, adding things to your pages. Now, see, I might want to ink around that page, but I could even do that later. Look at there. And now I can put like this. Now, when I have something like this that I want to, I want to, I want to, um, okay, I'm going to, okay, I will do that, Lala. Sure. I will. Let me just glue this in here. And I will show my auction item again. Each Monday when I, I mean, each Sunday. This is Saturday. Each Saturday, gosh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Each Saturday, I'm going to show one auction item. Rather than to have a whole auction that I can't keep up with, I'm going to show one of my auction items each Monday. Okay, so I'm going to see now. See right there how that goes? Now, because that's that Russian thingy majig. I'm going to put my Russian nesting doll tag in here, and that's going to go right there. Okay, now I'm going to show my auction item again real quickly. And um, do you see my lid here for my glue? Do you see my lid? No, you don't see it either, huh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, here it is. It was right there in front of the snake. Now, now I got to wipe this glue off here with my... Oh, rich over here. And gosh, the time is flying here. We got to have a door prize come up here pretty soon. Okay. I think that exactly. Okay. I was going to say exactly um, at the half an hour that we would go ahead and call it quits on the bidding. But I'm going to go ahead and show this what we're bidding on. Okay, this is a Mother Goose album that I started and never finished. It is all done with, let me scoot back just a little bit. Um, let me scoot. Wait a minute, i got to find my thingy to scoot. My scoot thing. Okay, and so, no, that's forward. Okay, that is as back as far as I'll go. Now, this is what is on the auction, on the auction block. This is an eight and a half by eight and a half. I think that's what I measured. Is that what I measured, you guys? Yes, eight and a half by eight and a half um, journal, a uh, photo journal. And in it is this. This, if you can see, this is the binding. It's two and a half inch binding, and it is all Mother Goose graph, graphic 45 papers. There's a little pocket tuck right there that has a little tag in it. I got some a little some hay there because that's the little boy blue. Um, come blow your horn, the sheep to the meadow, the cows of the corn. That's his haystack. And it's got all the mother goose. And here on the inside cover is a corner pocket. That's there. And then the first page is a little bit more than half. And each page has got a opens to a pocket. Each page. Now here's where I started. I was going to make like a tag here, a tab. Uh, actually, I was going to cut it shorter. I was going to put a little thumb pull there and then here's another one this is another little over half a page and again it's got the pocket and then here is an eight by eight page eight and a half by eight and a half again there's a pocket and in this one has got a small pocket down here but a belly band here so then you can put a tag in inside of here and it or whatever you put in there and the belly band holds it okay and then here is some mother goose little baba black sheep took a took a little star those are all little songs and then here is another pocket it says bedtime story here it's ready to have something this side is like an upside down waterfall 
okay? And it's got a magnetic holder on that. Oh, and then the pocket behind it, see? A pocket behind it to hold a tag. All right, and then of course, a pocket here. So, in, and when you have these pockets, what is fun to do is to take, if you take a piece of, of paper or, you know, anything like, um, you can take and have a piece of paper or whatever, fold it in half. Well, that's two pieces of paper. And put half of it in the pocket. Of course, this is a little bit too... Well, you'd have to fix it. But um, to put half of it in the pocket, you'd pro this is eight and a half inch, so you'd probably have to have eight inch piece of paper and um, put it in the pocket and let the other half fold out. And then you have a flip out or you could fold, you know, you flip out and then you can have another flip out on this side. So you can really, really, really fill, fill this up. You can really fill it up. Okay, now, and then here's another pocket on this page with, I've got a couple little tags in there. And here's, again, the half page pockets. And are there a little bit more than half page, as you can see, and already decorated with, I mean, they're already matted with papers. You will do the decorating. There's a, and every, like I say, every pocket, every page has got that pocket. And then here I've got three little, four little cards in that one. And here's again another little pocket. You can put another, because it's a short pocket, you can put a belly band across here and um, to help hold your things in. This one here opens up four ways. It's got four six by six papers that are put in there on hinges and they open up this way. So you've got all of this space to put um, put your images, your photos, anything that you're going to put. This is more of a photo album, or it could be a photo journal, because you can make in each one of those pages and then pockets, you can actually make a small journal. <coughs> or what meaning, um, it doesn't have to be real small. You know, it can be eight inch. Eight inches um, from top to bottom, but um, and make this into a journal so it could be a photo journal. And then here is like this this is a little uh, journal that I put together, and that is fits in this back pocket here. And that's all the page, but see how that can go? You can put in. If you made a journal, a little journal, you can put actually put that right in that pocket. So you could put a journal in every pocket and let this be a journal. And and then there's so many places that you can put photographs. And then with that, now if you're going to do with the book, to finish the book, you get all of these, these these make beautiful belly bands in there. Like I say, put the belly band up above the um, above the pocket. These are like little stamps. So you can cut those apart. You can mat those and make the cutest little things on your cards, on your journals, on, on your tags. And there's a lot of, pay of, of strips in here. And then there are smaller stamps as well. Oh, see here, these ones are even smaller little stamps that you can use that as either a strip or you can um, cut them apart. And I mean, there is way more here than you even need to finish this book. And you could probably come up with enough to make another journal that is all 
mother goose. Now in here, okay, I put these in here just so you have some tags to work on to, for your mother goose um, book. So you can start um, decorating these tags. So there's 14 of them. And then here is some embellishments. Now these are the lightweight embellishments, but they're all the mother goose. They were the pop-out ones, I think, or did I fussy cut them? I think they were just pop-out. And, um, but I've, there are some very small ones on there. They're these, these are going to be so nice to decorate the tags with. And get back in there, little spot. Okay, now, and then here, this one, this bag has got the heavier, this is the chipboard, like, die cuts in here. Chipboard die cuts. And that will come apart right there. There's there's quite a few in here. Look at that. It says bedtime story. These are just beautiful. And like I say, they're all graphic 45, except these tags are not. I just put them in there because you can make them graphic 45. And on here now, these are all... Um, journaling spots like a big look even the backs even the backs have got places to journal on them and they're all about their uh, look at that one's a postcard it's so cute and um and i really had high hopes of doing this but since it's been sitting around for so long and i've gotten to doing junk journals now it's like this is just sitting there gathering dust. And so here's some really small ones. And then here's some that are a little bit bigger. But they're all like double-sided. They're all double-sided. And they are all have to do with Mother Goose. They come from the same collection. I went nutso one day and just bought everything that was in the collection. And then you have... Here is some six by six pieces. These will be really nice to mat your tags or, and it's heavy, it's heavy too, so you can even make tags out of this. Maybe you'll make more pockets. I, I see that you, I, you can actually make an, a whole nother album and decorate it. And then these ones are also all graphic 25 double sided and they're all um the mother goose this is the same piece that i got on the front of this one because i think i had two of the eight by eight and so i have this many still and so that is what it is so you get the eight by eights you get a lot of six by sixes here those are a lot of six by sixes and um, like I say, we I take payment through PayPal, friends and family. Now, somebody just said that they don't have friends and family again. So I don't know how that works if you're just sending money to somebody. Because the, they have an option that you can send money that um, PayPal just lets the money go through. Now, see here, that's half inch thick at least of these strips. And so whatever, friend, what, however they do that now is, you know, to send the money that way. I have to, I will have to figure out what the shipping will be to your area. So once you, if you decide you want it, if you're the winner, if you're the winner, then um, I think you're going to love this. I think you're going to have so much fun with this. And it's got all the pieces got so much and um but what i'll do is i will find out exactly what the shipping is going to be to your address i have found since i've been doing my cigar boxes that um if i send something here in florida the shipping is not that bad but boy if i go to oh it's called sending to a friend option okay thank you gail sending to a friend thank you Okay, so that's what we look for then. And then I have these here. And I don't know, maybe I'll find something else even to go um, to go in with these. So you'll have the tags. You have all of these. And look, when I stuff them in there, when I stuff that in there, 
already it's like big. So, and whoever wins this, it'll be mailed out on Monday. It'll be um, mailed out on Monday. But I think if you like Mother Goose, you're going to love it. I don't think that Mother Goose paper line is even available anymore. I don't think. Now, it might be, and you may be able to find it like on um, eBay and stuff like that. But I'm not real sure. And so... <laughs> You're welcome, Jennifer Travis. Yeah, I I guess I should always show whatever I'm auctioning. And that's probably the biggest, fanciest thing I have. And then I've got other things that won't be quite as, as, um, as fancy schmancy or something. I call it fancy schmancy anyway. And, um, but anyway, so I was working on my, oh, look, and now it is almost, okay, my hour is up. So also now, um, I wonder if I should go. I think I will. I'll go ahead and stop the bidding. What do you think, Gail? Yes, only if they've paid first. Yes. You have a week, though. If you don't have the money today, you have a week to come up with the money and send it to me. I'll hold on to it for a week. If I don't if I don't get your money in that week then again on Monday it'll go back. Okay? Now so that's how that will work. So um now Gail or the end of the stream. Okay, the end of the stream. We're going to go with the end of the stream. And so, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do our regular, um, we'll do our regular, gosh, I've just run my mouth. I haven't hardly did anything in my book. But um, we'll do our regular door price. Door price, but whatever Gail says, yes. But oh, there's my book. Okay, so we're going to do the regular door price now, which we do, which I like to do the regular door price, which is going to be an envelope with fun items for a junk journal. And the junk journal fun items, look at there, there's a time card. These are two cards that come out of a card catalog that we don't use anymore. Here is a couple of um, animal cards. Here's a couple of tags. And, and here are just some extras, just little things that you can use in your junk journals. Just little things. All right. Those will be in there. And then also I will put in A couple of tags. Let's put four tags in there so that you can work on your four tags. And in here is going to be a, in, in here, unless I've already sent you one, will be a um, pocket prayer quilt. Because I've made, I'm making a lot of those. I'm going to be making more as soon as my crosses get here. But I got little crosses that go in them. Okay, so go ahead, um, Gail, and start. Yeah, this is not the auction. This is just this is just the door prize. I'm gonna go get my numbers while you are picking. Then go get my little bucket. Gotta get my bucket. Hubster's not in here to reach. Oh, I reached it. I reached it. Okay, okay, now, okay, been a while since I've done these, since been a while, it's been a while, and I thank you everybody who has bid on my auction item, I'll let you know, we'll find out at the end, the very last who our winner is. I'm the winner. I'm telling you. I am the winner. I am the one that's the winner. 
Okay, so I shook them up and we'll see who the winner of the door prize is. Mm. Oh, there's Tammy. There's Angela. I don't think I said hello to Tammy or Angela. Thank you both for coming. Gail says 30 more seconds. Mm, 37 people. Thank you, all of you, for coming. I can see up on the screen that it says 37 people. And I am just, I am so blessed. So, and I'm going to try to do this every Saturday night at 7.30 Eastern time. And usually I only stay on for about an hour because then I got to get up and move around. And so, but I thank you so much. Okay, Gail says stop. All right, now I'm going to pull it. I'm just going to go, pop. it's not in here to pull me a number. So I'm just going to reach in here and I'm just going to pull a number out of the middle. The number I pulled is 49. 49. So the winner of this door prize will be whoever came closest without going over to 49. Aw, Tieran says she's missed my live streams. Thank you. I'm so glad to have all of you here. When I see your names pop up, it's just like it's just like you're right here with me. Okay, wait a minute. We've got two different names here. Gail says Lisa Blight said 47. And Lala says Pamela. I'm not sure why she said Pamela. Arlene has 47. Okay, so that's gonna if it if Arlene and Lisa both have 47, it's which one has 47 first. And we're gonna go by Gail's go by Gail. Lisa Blight has 40. Okay, Lisa had 47 first. Okay, so Lisa Blight is the winner and of this. Okay, Lisa Blight. Pencil, pencil. Lisa. Lisa Blight. Okay, that is who will get this door press. Okay, and so Lisa, please send me your address. I probably already have it, but please send it to me. Um. Please send it to me anyway in my email so I'll be sure and it's easier for me to find it then. Okay. Now I'm going to um let's see. Should I read first or have the yeah. No, I'm gonna read last because that's what I do always is read last. And so I'm going to get my book out for my reading. I think I'm gonna read from Someone Cares, from Harlan Steiner Rice. And, okay, girls, let me know who is the winner of the auction item. The auction item winner. Which is me, but... And the auction, 
who gets this package of of the what the, how come my memory is that? Mother Goose. Oh goodness sakes. Mother Goose. Pat says hello everyone from Canada. Oh wow. Okay, does everybody agree it's Cindy Trifone with 70? Oh, you both agree. So it's Cindy Trifone. Oh my gosh, Cindy, thank you so much. And I have your address, Cindy. So I will let you know, and you're in Florida, so your shipping won't be that much. And so, which that's a good thing too. I'm thinking maybe nine or ten dollars for shipping. I it won't be more than that. So, and oh my gosh, I want to see it when you're finished. I think it'll be awesome. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and add um, a collection of fibers that you can use for your tags too, and um, like fibers and maybe ribbons and things that you can use on the tag. So I don't know if you like fluff like I like fluff, but I like fluff. And so thank you so much. Okay, thank you. You guys are awesome. And um, oh, oh, this part is called the golden chain of friendship. I've got goosebumps. I'm just so, I, I'm thrilled. Okay, let me write down that. $70. I'm going to make sure you get $70 worth too, my love. Okay, the golden chain of friendship. Okay, busy. So you will email Cindy with the total with shipping, right? Yes, I will. Yes, I will email or messenger. I think I've got her on messenger too. But yes, I will let you know within the deal. Within the, I was reading something that had, oh gosh. Okay, yes, I will know, I'll let you know the total. Okay, friendship is a golden chain. The links are friends so dear. And like a rare and precious jewel, it's treasured more each year. It's clasped together firmly with a love that's deep and true and it's rich with happy memories and fond recollections too time can't destroy its beauty for as long as memory lives years can't erase the pleasure that the joy of friendship gives for friendship is a precious gift that can't be bought or sold but to have an understanding friend is worth far more than gold and the golden chain of friendship is a strong and blessed tie binding kindred hearts together as the years go passing by i love that some of these readings just get to my heart it just gets to my heart and this is so true about friendship i just love that and so thank you all for coming. Thank you so much. And thank you, Cindy, for um, purchasing this, this item. Thank you all. They, and congrats to Lisa for winning the little door prize. It's not much, but it's something. And I want to just ask God to watch over each and every one of you, every step you take and every move you make. And I will see you next Saturday on my weekly live stream. And I'm going to have, I'm going to have another um, auction item. Nothing quite as fancy. It'll be something chintzy probably. But I do have a lot of started journals and stuff. And I'm de-stashing. Okay. I love you all so much. God bless you.